This is Rogers. I... On behalf of the Secretary of the Army, I'd like to express my deep regret to inform you that you're... Please go into the kitchen. Please. Your husband, he, uh... He, um... I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry. I am in hell. <laughs> no. No, you know where you are. Ma'am, with all due respect, of course, I don't... I don't think your son was the person you thought he was. I raised him. I understand, and I don't think anyone knew him better than you did, but that was before he left. When you go over there, and... and you see... when you see what it's actually like, you do things. You know... you're different. The point is, I don't think your son was a coward. I, I don't know why you won't talk. Because you don't listen. He's gone now. The corpse that lay before me was nothing but a shell. A cold, lifeless shell. This could have been me. But I got to come home, and for that I consider myself very lucky. So yeah, I may have messed this up, but not again. Please just give me one more chance. I'm glad that this is enough, that right now that this is your breaking point, Mom. 26 years. 26 years you haven't paid attention to me. And now you expect me to be normal? I'm sorry, Mom. I can't be normal. You know, but I'm, I'm, I'm eating there this evening. Yeah. Got it. Eight o'clock, Ed. Yes, ma'am. How long do you plan on keeping me here? As long as it takes for you to understand that you must embrace your destiny. But why me? I can't take this. You're out all night, every night. You're never home. No. This ain't shit. Wait for it. Wait for it. to check on Ben. Okay, it was clear he wasn't going to make it. I want to wake up. I want to go back. I want to live my life!